Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Adam Steele. My associate, Brenton Knuffman, is over there. And we're here today to tell you a little about Zero K Nanotech, a company we founded that will bring to market new technology that will dramatically improve the performance of focused ion beams. Now, a focused ion beam isn't something that people see in their everyday experience. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about it to start out. A focused ion beam can be thought of as a kind of nano chisel. It's capable of sculpting and carving surfaces one or a few nanometers at a time. You also could think of it as uh, machine tools for the nanoscale. In these uh, videos here, it's the focused ion beam uh, doing these operations. On the uh, right, it's uh, drilling holes in a thin membrane in a predetermined pattern. And on the right, it's sculpting a uh, pillar out of a larger substrate. The integrated circuit industry is the largest user of these focused ion beams, where they employ them in a process called circuit edit. What they do is they'll take a new chip that's in the prototyping stage, they'll go into it, they'll break connections in some places and make new connections in others. This allows them to more quickly and efficiently bring new chip designs from the prototyping to the manufacturing stages of development. As you're all uh, probably aware, uh, circuit sizes have been shrinking dramatically over the last few decades, a rough doubling in density every two years. On the other hand, the focused ion beam technology, which has supported this development, hasn't been able to keep up. This quote here from one of the engineers sort of sums up the situation. Ten years ago we would fix it, now we just eliminate it. The engineers are being forced into ever more costly and time-consuming workarounds for processes that used to be straightforward. And this is where we step in. Zero K Nanotech has a new technology which we call Lotus. It's an ion source. And this is the component that determines the performance of the ion beam which are going to improve in two key ways. The first is by offering better precision. Uh, by improving precision by a factor of five, we're gonna reduce the size of the focus spot of the focused ion beam. This allows you to co create smaller structures than ever before. At the same time, we're gonna increase ion beam current by a factor of 10. This will let you get your jobs done 10 times more quickly than before. We call it LOTUS, it stands for Low Temperature Ion Source. We call it that because we employ laser-cooled atoms in this ion source. Uh, we cool these atoms to within a few millionths of a degree above absolute zero. This is absolutely the coldest stuff in the whole universe. Unless there's an alien out there who's trying to improve focused ion beams like we are, this is as cold as it gets. It's based on Nobel Prize winning research, some of which was pioneered by our current Secretary of Energy, Dr. Stephen Chu. All you need to know about this technology is that low temperature equals high precision, letting you put your ions just exactly where you want them. Uh, we'd also like to note that the, uh, first com this will represent the first commercialization of laser cooling technology, taking this stuff out of the laboratory and putting it into the hands of end users. The company was founded by myself and Brenton Knuffman, both PhD physicists with an extensive background in atomic physics and nanotechnology, the two pieces that together drive the performance of these devices. Uh, we're affiliated with the Maryland Nano Center, and we uh, used to be postdocs at the National Institute of Standards of Technology, where we built the first proof of concept focus ion beam device that uses the Lotus. I'm going to show you that in just a minute. Uh, recruitment of further team members is awaiting the conclusion of some negotiations that are ongoing. Uh, so here's the basic business model. We have this new ion source, which is one component of the focused ion beam. We're going to supply our intellectual property, this technology, and consulting in support of that technology to these larger companies that make the complete focused ion beams, which has other components like vacuum chambers, computer equipment, and electronics. They in turn will integrate it into their product lines and distribute it to customers in a variety of fields. I've already mentioned the use in integrated circuit manufacture, use in data storage and nanotechnology research is similar. It's getting increasing acceptances in the life sciences where they're being used to look at individual cells, one component and one thin layer at a time. Finally, it's used in energy exploration for looking at the porosity of rock for the purposes of fracking. Uh, we're going to be entering this nano machining market, which I showed you earlier. Focused ion beams are used for a wide variety of applications, even within a given sector. Uh, but we're going to be going into nano machining because it is the sector where we have a strong competitive advantage and is also of sufficient size to ensure a good return on investment for our investors. I'll briefly mention some of the other applications for focused ion beams because they're important to know about. One is ion microscopy. You can use the ion beam to take pictures, magnified images of very small things, and cross-sectioning where the focused ion beam is used to make very thin samples for a special kind of electron microscopy. So let's talk about this return on investment. We're going to be looking for an investment of $4 million in quarter four of 2013, subsequent to completion of some initial technical milestones. Flows will flow back into the company in one of two ways that we've modeled here. The first is an acquisition model. 
Uh, what we'd like to note is that this technology has remained the same for a very long time. As a result, all of these different focused ion beam companies have essentially the same product from a technical specification standpoint. Uh, by employing the Lotus technology, they'll have a strong competitive advantage over these other companies. And there's about a $50 million scale for acquisitions in this space. There's industry precedent for these companies acquiring smaller startups that will give them enabling technology. Uh, there's also the possibility for out licensing. We would license our technology to the focused ion beam companies and a single one of them would attach it to their focused ion beams in-house. Uh, exclusive license is the most likely outcome, we believe, with an upfront fee of 10 to 20 million and a royalty of about 15% on a $3 million focused ion beam sale. Uh, using a simple model for market penetration, you can see uh, focused ion beam sales as a function of year and royalties generated therefrom. Uh, this numbers would increase even further if you incorporate the supporting and the consulting that will uh, supplement these revenues and also development into these other market sectors like cross-sectioning beyond the micro-machining market. The intellectual property is in a fairly advanced state. As I mentioned earlier, we've already completed a proof of concept device which we built at NIST. This is it here in the bottom. This uh, beige piece down there in the bottom is a commercial focused ion beam. We lopped its head off, took the stock ion source, and replaced it with an ion source of our own design. Uh, there are two relevant pieces of intellectual property, one, in one issued patent and one recent non-provisional and PCT filing. So we're going to have international coverage as well. Uh, and exclusive license negotiations are currently underway. This thing really works. The inset of up the picture up there is us using our Lotus proof of concept device to take an image of nanoscale tin spheres. Uh, moving forward, we're going to be looking first to uh, conclude IP license negotiations. Then we're, then we're going to complete our next generation ion source. This is an elaboration of the thing we have on the proof of concept device. After that, we'll have built sufficient value into the intellectual property to motivate this $4 million investment. We're going to use that money to retrofit a lead user, someone who's at the cutting edge of focused ion beam technology, their tool with our new ion source. Finally, the most important uh, milestone is the construction of an entire beta platform that will fully realize on our promise of a five times improvement in precision and ten times improvement in speed. I'll conclude with, this is a really exciting time to be involved in uh, focused ion beam development. There's a company, Alice Corporation, whose trajectory we're going to try to follow as closely as we can. In 2005, based only on the technical specs of their ion source, they managed to raise $9 million in venture funding and funding from Intel Capital. This is an example of someone who is in the end user community being interested in funding money into startups that are going to give them the benefits of this new technology. Only 15 months later, after the construction of a beta fib platform, our milestone number four, they were acquired by Carl Zeiss, the largest European manufacturer of focused ion beams. This is before any commercial sales had taken place, based only on the promise of the performance in this new beta platform. When first commercial sale did occur, coincidentally a year later, it was to NIST. We're only a few hallways away, and a few years later, Brenton and I were innovating the Lotus technology to take focused ion beams to the next level. I'd like to conclude, we're 0K Nanotech. We're going to deliver unmatched nanomachine performance and focused ion beams. We're going to sell our Lotus technology, intellectual property, and support thereof to focused ion beam manufacturers. And a $4 million investment in quarter 4, 2013 is going to turn into a company with a valuation greater than $50 million in 2016. Thank you very much.